let us take a few time to talk about systems of units for measurement. There are two systems of units applied in the world. They are the metric system and the imperial system. Most countries use the metric system of units. Of course, Taiwan uses it. We can see this map. Only a few countries, the United States, Libya, and Burma, use the imperial system of measurement. For the metric system, things are measured in meter, newton, kilogram, second, etc. And the imperial system is inch of feet, pound force, pound second. Since the author of the textbook, Warden is American, the textbook used the imperial system. We should point out that even these countries do not use metric system, but they are taking steps to accept it. However, you need to do business with the United States and other countries. So I think you need to know where both systems. By the way, let's take a look at Taiwan. The island of Taiwan, also known as Formosa, it means a beautiful island. Where is Taiwan? Taiwan is situated in West Pacific. Its neighboring countries include China to the northwest, Japan to the northeast, and the Philippines to the south. Taipei is the capital of Taiwan, located in the northern part of the island. Our university, NTUST, is located in Taipei. Taiwan population is about three times that of Paraguay, Yu country, and the area is one tenth. So you can see. Taiwan is quite crowded, especially in Taipei. The distance between Taiwan and Paraguay is 19,900 kilometers. It is a long journey from Paraguay to Taiwan. It takes around 13 hours by flight due to lack of a later flight. I hear that you will come to Taiwan next year. So, Welcome to Taiwan. Hope you have a wonderful stay in Taiwan. Later, I will give you three examples. The first example is a four bar liquid. This mechanism has four revolut joints. The second is a sliding crank mechanism. It is a four link mechanism with three revolut joints and one prismatic joint of sliding joint. This mechanism is quite famous. The rotation of the crank drives the linear moment of the slide, of the expansion of gases against a sliding piston in the cylinder can drive the rotation of the crank. And the third is a double slider mechanism. It's also a four liquid mechanism with two revolut joints and two prismatic joints. In the three cases, we will consider the waste of the links and the basic units use the metric system. The first example gives two input toes, 200 newton meter. 18 on link 2 and 20 newton meter 18 on link 3 respectively. When the mass of the link is to be to ignore, its weight needs to be considered. <coughs> there are 20 newton, 30 newton, and 25 newton for link 2, 3, and 4. All the positions of the joints and the center of gravity of the links are known and uh, represented in coordinates. This problem is to find the output torque tau for one. 
let us start to solve this problem. You need to find out two fourth members first. Links two, three, and four have three fourths and a talk. So they all are not a two fourth member. There is no two fourth member in this case. Unfortunately, we cannot simplify the calculation. So let's go ahead and find any link to find the equations of equilibrium. Let's start with link two. Link two has three forces acting on it. Two joint forces, F12 and F32. A weight of link W2 and an import torque tau 1 2. You must properly sketch all the forces and the torque in the free body diagram like this. You sketch an input torque of 200 newton meter on joint A first. Let us see the weight of the link 2. The direction of the weight is trained downward and the center of the mass is at point E. So you need to sketch an arrow pointing down to represent the weight force and label it as W2. The directions of the two joint force can be in any direction depending on the position of the mechanism. So you need to guess the directions of the forces and to sketch them. If the force value salt in negative, it tells you that your guess is not correct. So you need to flip the direction of the force to get a correct answer. After sketching the flat body diagram of link 2, you need to write down three equilibrium equations, x and y force balance equations and the lead moment balance equation. Three force are broken into x and y components. From the free body diagram, the force F12 have positive x and y components. The force F32 have a negative x component and a positive y component. The weight W2 always is a negative y component. This is three forces can make up two force balance equations. Let's see the moment balance. The question now arises. What point do we take a moment? Actually, in statics, it doesn't matter which point you pivot, pivot around. The moment is always zero. However, I suggest you choose the orange A since the coordinates all of all points in the mechanism are known through position analysis. I think in this case, the orange A is much more convenient than others. You can use this equation to calculate the sum of moments generated by three forces, F12, F32, and W2, and a torque tau 1, 2. The moment generated by the force F12 is zero, because the magnitude of the moment on RA is zero. And the moment generated by the force F32 is the sum of SB times F32x and SB times F32y. Because F32x is negative and F32y is positive, the moment generated by the waste W2 is negative Xd times W2. Finally, the sum of the moments generated by the all those must be zero. Now we have three equations, but have four unknowns. This equation cannot be solved. So we continue to check other links. Let's take a look at the moment of force. A force Fx on the point B of the link 
let's generalize a moment about point A. The moment is equal to the moment on RB cross the force F. In the planetary system, the direction of the moment is perpendicular to the plane. We can break the force into X and Y components, Fx and Fy, to calculate the moments. Here, the position vector RB is SB, YB. When the directions of X and Fy are positive, the moment is the sum of negative YB times Fx and SB times Fy. In leak 3, an input torque tau 1 3 of 20 newton meter is on it, and the weight W3x on the point H in the downward direction. The forces F32 and F23 are action and reaction forces. So the force F32 is equal and opposite in direction to the force F23. The force F43 can be in any direction. So you need to guess the direction and the draw the force vector. This is three force are broken into X and Y components to make up the two force balance equations. Like the link two, we can choose the orange A as a reference point of the moment. The moment of the force F23 is equal to the sum of negative YB times F23X and the negative SB times F23Y. Because F23X is positive and F23Y is negative, the force F43 gives the moment by YC times F F3X plus SC times F F43Y. Because F43X is negative and F43Y is positive, the weight always generates a negative moment, and its magnitude is SH times W3. You need to remember to add the input torque tau 1, 3 into the moment equation. We get three equations but four unknowns. F23x, F23y, F43x, and F43y. Again, too many unknowns. We cannot solve the problems. In link 4, the output torque tau 41 is unknown. We need to figure it out. All the forces and the moments must be input when you drain F. Uh, free body diagrams. So we need to use the input torque tau 1 4 to replace the output torque tau 4 1. This is two torques have the same magnitude and opposite directions. The weight W4 x on the point F in a downward direction. The forces F34 and F43 are action and reaction at the joint C. So the force F34 is equal and opposite to the force F43. Again, the force F14 can be in any direction. In this, you need to guess the direction and draw the force vector. This is three forces are broken into X and Y components to make up the two force balance equations. We choose the orange A as a reference point of the moment. The moment of force F34 equals the sum of negative YC times F34X and the negative XC times F34Y. The force F14 gives the moment, which is sum of negative yd times f14x and xd times f14y, and the weight give a negative moment has a negative of sf times w4. 
Finally, the input torque tau 1 4 is added into the moment equation. We get three equations, but four unknowns F34x, F34y, F14x, F14y, and the tau 1 4. So we cannot solve the equations. Let's go to solve the equations. In this case, each right body diagram provides three equations. So we have nine equations to solve nine unknown forces. If we rewrite the equilibrium equations of all the links into a system of linear equations, thus we can use an inverse matrix to solve the problem. Equilibrium equations of link 2, 3, and 4 can build up a system of linear equations like this. They can be represented in matrix form using a coefficient matrix, a variable matrix, and a constant matrix. To express this system in matrix form, you need to follow several simple steps. First, you need to rewrite the equilibrium equations. Keep the unknowns to the left side of the equation and move the constant to the right. Write all the coefficients in one matrix. Multiply the matrix with the variables of the system set up in another matrix. And write all the constant in a corner. To solve a system A x equal B for unknowns x, you can multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse of A, and then all unknowns can be determined. Let's talk about how to prepare a system of linear equation in matrix form. For example, the third equation of equilibrium equations is let the third law vector of the coefficient matrix times the variable matrix equals the third element of the constant matrix. This is yb times f23x plus sb times f23y is equal to SE times W2 minus tau 1, 2. Let's see the other example. The last equation is the last law vector of the coefficient matrix times the variable matrix equals the last element of the constant matrix. That is minus yc times f34x minus xc times f34y and minus yd times f14x plus sd times f14y plus, plus tau14 is equal to sf times w4. The last step is to substitute all the values into the matrix. And you can use a math tool, Mathematica of, of MATLAB, for example, to calculate the inverse of the coefficient matrix. And then you can obtain all the unknown forces and the torques. However, I think you are difficult to have any math tool. When you do homework of exams, if the equations are not easy to figure out, you only need to write nine equilibrium equations without having to solve them. In this case, we need to find the output torque so to flip the direction of the torque tau 1 4 to get it. You can see many forces are negative F12 X, F12 Y, F23x and F34x. 
it means that our guess about the relations of the forces are wrong. So we need to flip them to get the correct directions. In this case, we flip f12 x f12 y and f23 x f32 x and f34 x f43 x. I try to use the math tool, Mathematica, to track all the forces and the torque of the linkage for 360 degrees of the crank rotating. You can see all the forces and the torques vary during the crank rotating because the position of the mechanism varies. We can design dimensions of links according to the maximum forces acting on them. It is observed that this mechanism provides the maximum output torque when the angle of the crank is 220 degrees. This case is a sliding crank mechanism. It has two revolute joints and a prismatic joint. There are 300 newton of the input force acting on the block towards the left. Again, waste of links are considered. This video shows you the position of the mechanism. The problem is to find the input torque of link two. There is also no two force member in this case. So we can start drawing right body diagrams from any link. The equilibrium equations of link two are similar to case one, but the input torque of link two is unknown in this case. So we have five unknowns in equations. The equilibrium equations of link 3 are also similar to case 1. We have four unknowns in equations. This slide describes how to draw a free body diagram if the component has the prismatic joints. For a prismatic joint, a force is perpendicular to the slide axis and uh, a moment along the lead axis. You can see the free body diagram of link 4. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 forces and one moment acting on the slider. Four forces are broken into X and Y components. They make up the X and the Y force balance equations. Lines of action of four forces pass through a common point C. If we select point C as the reference point of moment, the moment of each force is zero because the magnitude of its moment on is zero. So it is better to use point C instead of point A as the reference point of the moment in this case. This slide gives you a system of linear equations of this example in matrix forms. You can verify your answer. If you want to practice writing a system of linear equation from the equilibrium equations. Substitute all the values into the matrix. You can solve all unknowns using a math tool, mathematica for example. This time, we are lucky. All the forces are positive. It means our guess about the relations of forces is correct. This example is a double slider mechanism. It has two revolute joints and two prismatic joints. And input torque 200 newton meter is applied on link two. Once again, waste of links are considered. This video shows you the position of the mechanism. 
we need to find the upper force of sliding ball. You can see so many forces acting on the link 2, 3, and 4. There is no two force members in this case. So we start drawing free body diagram from any link. This figure shows the free body diagram of link 2. Let us see the prismatic joint. The slider on link 3 gives a force F32 and a moment N32 to link 2. This force is perpendicular to the guideway on link 2. So we know the force is acting at an angle of 13 degrees to the x direction. The force beta F32 is represented as x and y components. F32 times cosine of 13 degree and F32 times sine of 13 degree. Three equilibrium equations are listed here, and we have four unknowns in equations. This figure shows the free body diagram of link 3. Link 2 gives a reaction force and a reaction moment to link 3. They are the same with the force F32 and the moment N32, but have opposite directions. Then, drawing a weight W3 downward and the force F43, it can be in any direction. Three equilibrium equations are then listed in here, and we have four unknowns in equations. This figure shows the free body diagram of link 4. Force F34 is the reaction force exited by link 3. It is the same as force F43 but have the opposite direction. The slope gives a force F14 and a moment M14 to block 4. The force is perpendicular to the slope at an angle of 13 degrees to the y direction. And the output force F14 is along the slope of 13 degrees. So both force vectors can be represented as x and y components like this. Lines of action of four forces pass through a common point B. So we select point B as the reference point of the moment. The moment of each force will be zero. The equilibrium equation are listed here. We have five unknowns in these equations. Nine equilibrium equations are written into a system of linear equations in matrix forms, like this. Substitute all the values into matrix. You can solve all unknowns using a math tool. In this case, the problem is to find the output force F41. So to flip the direction of the force F14 to get it. Anyway, from the video today, you already learned about using the method of free body diagrams to figure out those of the mechanism. I hope you can watch the video and read the textbook before the class. See you Wednesday. Bye bye.